Hey everybody, this is Tucker from Mac Kiteboarding, and today on Wing Wednesdays, we're gonna to talk to you about how to go about trying your first jump when you're wing foiling. Uh, what we're gonna to get to today is how you're gonna do your first wing foiling jump and, and give you some tips for that. Hopefully get you on the road to success, the road to landing these, riding them away uh, and, and doing that frequently, uh, repeatable, uh, consistently out there on the water. Um, I've been doing this stuff for, for quite a while now. I've got you know most of your basic jumps figured out and, and in the back pocket and, and working on some more advanced ones as well. So that's always fun to progress. Um, but as I found out, it's always really helpful to have you know a couple of tips or or even just like a quick walkthrough of a trick from somebody that's kind of figured it out already so hopefully i can do that for you here uh, or if you've already figured that stuff out and you have some tips maybe that i missed or if you want to say like oh yeah that one part really helped me as well let us know in the comments we'd love that uh, get a little bit of a community going get some discussion going uh, in there and and we can help each other out uh, so my first tip i would say uh, for anybody that's going to try a jump is number one don't go too big you go really big you come slamming down with all this momentum coming straight down um, save that for down the road you know you'll get to it eventually with the huge jumps um, but for your first few jumps try to keep it a little bit lower you know maybe waist high uh, you know, in terms of your foil off the water. So it's still gonna feel pretty big because you gotta remember you get your mass tight in there as well. It's still gonna feel fun and big. Um, but in terms of getting the technique down, doing it safely and riding away, it's gonna be a lot easier if you stay a little bit slower and lower, um, or at least lower uh, in terms of your jump height and how hard you're going after it. My second tip would be try to do it in flat water, okay? If you get out in waves, the waves are just gonna amplify uh, everything send you higher. There's a lot more variables there, more unknowns, how it's gonna launch you off the wave, how high you're gonna go. You know, you gotta time it differently and it's, it's gonna kinda throw off your timing and, and your technique. So it's better to practice in flatter water if you can. Uh, if not, go out on a smaller wave day, you can certainly still learn it. Uh, it's just gonna be a little bit harder, especially to ride away. All right, third tip. Rather than going straight up and straight down, try to project your jump a little bit uh, side wind and a little bit downwind. That's gonna allow you to keep your board speed and momentum going so that when you land, it's easier to ride away. The la other thing it's going to do is allow you to re-enter the water with the foil uh, at a smoother, less turbulent way. If you come to crashing straight down onto the foil, there's all kinds of you know, bubbles and aeration that go out from the foil. You know, it's gonna put a lot more stress on your foil as well and reduce the lifespan of, of your equipment. Uh, but if you can, rather than going pff, pff, crashing down, kind of pop, travel, land, that's what you're after. Uh, and the, the more you per perfect that, the higher you can go while still you know, landing with some good momentum and, and not coming crashing straight down on your foil equipment, which is not what you want to do. Uh, so how to do that? Basically, rather than just angling your wing upwards and jumping up, you're gonna keep your wing angled kind of out and you're going to pop forward uh, as you leave the water. So rather than going straight up and waiting for the wing to hold you and crash down, keep your wing a little bit more sideways like you're riding, pop, and then bring your foil back into the water, uh, hopefully at an angle. And that's gonna bring me to my next point. So when you're entering back into the water, don't put the foil down flat. You wanna bring it in at an angle, uh, front edge of, of your front wing first, at, at maybe, I don't know, even know what degrees, but at a slight angle, so you can kind of slip it into the water in, in flight mode, rather than crashing it through and then trying to force it to fly, because then it's like one direction, then another direction. No, you wanna, you wanna come in and slip in, uh, and that's gonna help you eliminate the turbulence in your foil, continue your momentum forward, which helps you plane out on your board and take off again. And then eventually, when you're ready to land your jumps on foil and not touch your board down, that's going to allow you to enter the water with more momentum and turbulence again 
and, and ride away without your board coming crashing down. Um, and, and again, all of that's just going to reduce the stress on your equipment, on your body, uh, and hopefully keep both going for a much longer time. <laughs> Having more fun out there on the water, not getting injured, not breaking things uh, in your equipment. Uh, so hopefully those things help you out. Um, if you have any questions, comments, anything below, anything I'm missing, I'm sure I'm missing lots of tips. Uh, people maybe more experienced than me or, or maybe just somebody that's thought about it more than I have. Um, but just get out there, do some small jumps, land with momentum, and, uh, and keep it rolling. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and we'll see you next Wing Wednesdays.